Alright, so we're down to two missions left, and, and this is mission 10 called Cordis Dia, where we're escorting the president through downtown Los Angeles. I'm going to skip the cutscenes in the beginning, and we're going to come to uh, where the drone just overturned our vehicle, and we're going to pick up from there. And our first mission challenge begins almost immediately once we make our way to the SAM turret that's just ahead of us over near that street sign. So our first challenge calls to have 100% hit accuracy using the SAM while taking out the drones that are flying above. Now this is a little bit more of luck than skill. Um, the best way to do it is to shoot at the drones when they're not so close to you in front of you. That way you know you hit them. And the SAM happens to shoot as many missiles to as many locked on targets as you have. So if you have one, you'll shoot one. If you have five or six, it's gonna shoot six missiles out. So um, this challenge more happens to do with luck than actual any type of skill. So, so once you take out all of the drones in this part of the mission, uh, it's gonna force you out of the SAM and we're gonna move on to the next part of the mission. Alright, so back to challenge one. You will not see career record updated until after this little tiny cutscene of uh, the drone coming in and the FA-38 taking it down. So right after this cutscene, it will say career record updated if you did complete challenge one. Section, this is Anderson responding to your mayday call. Standing by for tasking. Anderson, we are en route to prom night with the president. Request establish overhead. Provide armed overwatch. Wilco, be advised. I'm all you got. The bulk of my squadron is down or engaging drones. Understood. We'll make it work. Agent Samuels, are the all right, other So on to challenge two, we want to choose to be a sniper and not repel down. Challenge two requires you to use this sniper rifle, this specialty sniper rifle, uh, and take out ten enemies with headshots. Now this sniper can shoot through walls as long as you charge it up. You don't have to charge it up uh, full to get to go through the small walls, but you can shoot through the concrete pillars there the on a full charge. So at this time, just take your time getting the headshots. Some enemies are going to be standing still. Uh, some sitting in the cars like you see there. Uh, and there's at least, I think, 15 or 16 enemies around this area. So getting 10 headshots should be pretty simple. Keep covering the president! Push through! The G20 leaders in that vehicle are running out of time! Taking fire from snipers on the overpass! Section, we need covering fire now. Clear. Now, when you repel down here, you definitely want to take care of those RPG guys because they'll give you a little bit of a headache in this area because they still have pretty decent accuracy even on lower difficulties, and they'll take you out in two RPG shots. Get on the radio and find the status of the other convoys. The rear vehicles diverted as soon as we were hit. Sector Petraeus is secure. Right, so we're going to move around to this left side. And on the other side of this bus behind that burning truck, there is the first intel for this mission. Since I've already picked it up in a previous playthrough, it doesn't show up. And it's going to be right there, pretty much right next to that dead guy's head. So... As we progress through the mission, we're just going to go over to the waypoint here and move on to the next scene. There are, there are no more challenges at this part of the mission until we get run over by the semi, which will come up here in a little bit. Go, go, go! The 
They're trying to block our exit. Push through them. Ram anything in your way. Section. You got a drone turning in on your convoy. I have lock. Firing. Right section. The overpass is coming down. Holy shit! Anderson, how badly hit is downtown? It's bad, section. Most of the city's now a full-blown war zone. I don't know how you're gonna make it through downtown. I don't know yet. But we will. Section, I'm seeing vehicles converging on the streets ahead. On your right! Shit! I say again, Blue Root is compromised. All convoys need to avoid the arena district. Await further updates. We'll find a way through the streets. We'll regroup en route. We got RPGs on the rooftops all around. I'm trying to... So the first thing we want to do at this point of the mission is pick up the RPG to take out this claw. Uh, there's going to be three in this area that we need to, so you want to hold on to the RPG for a while and refill your ammo when you can. Once we take out the claw, we're going to go into that overturned truck you see there, and we're going to get the drone, the quad drones for the next challenge. So you gotta make sure you have your access kit to get into this. Uh, like normal, you pretty much always need your access kit for every mission. And the challenge requires you to mark and kill eight enemies with the quad drone. It's best that you do it on the street, that way you know you get it done. And there's plenty of enemies for the quad drones to take out. One thing I really haven't mentioned is that the Storm PSR is a pretty easy way to take out these uh, claws. On a full charge, it takes, I think, two or three shots to take them down completely. So, our next location to go is into the hotel. Uh, Intel 3 is going to be located on that desk we just passed, oh, right there on our right. Since we've already picked it up in a previous playthrough, it doesn't show up like, uh, like the first one did. So at this point, I decided to go into this trailer and pick up uh, my other gun, since it always seems to be located in these crates for whatever uh, loadout you have at the beginning of the mission. So our next challenge um, that we're going to do is the one where we have to rescue these guys that are in this overturned truck. Like before, you just have to have your access kit equipped and just go up and hold X and you let them out to complete another challenge. Grab a rifle! We're not out of this yet! 
Remember to use your drone targeting if you have yet to complete the challenge of marking eight enemies and killing them with the drone so that way you can get it done because we're nearing the end of where the drones can be used and they become useful. Spread out! Open your field to fire! Stay online! Alright, so intel number three is going to be located on that t-shirt uh, wall, little setup right here. It's going to be located right there where I just shot on that shelving. And that will do it for the intel locations in this mission. And we're going to backtrack a little bit here and go into that access point. Then we're going to go up to the roof and use a SAM for another challenge. Alright, so once we're in the SAM unit, we have to take out 30 drones in this area. Um, it doesn't matter about your accuracy at all, so you can just spam away when you're uh, shooting and have a lock on to the drones. So I guess this is now challenge 6 here, but don't shoot those guys on the ground that I just shot. Your main priority targets are going to be the RPG guys that are behind the vehicle on that ledge. And then from there, we're going to move forward and take out the guys that are on the street. And your main priority is going to be the guys on the turrets in the back of the truck. So after that building has come down and we regain control of a guy, we're going to go and pilot the FA-38 FA that's been flying around the city providing us with support. There are two challenges you need to do with this one, and one is protecting the G-20 vehicles all the way to their uh, destination downtown, and the other one is to use the, the Skyburst missiles to take out three drones in one shot. Delta, Echo, X-Ray. Authorization accepted. Startup sequence initiated. Controls, navigation, communication, and telemetry systems now online. The EMCs are flooding every damn intersection. The LAPD are overwhelmed. We're not going to make it. Samuels, I've so if we're protecting these vehicles, you want to stay just slightly ahead of them. That way you can take out the guys on the intersections and all the drones in the air before the vehicles get close enough to them. So just pay attention to what you're looking at because the trucks will be labeled with a lock on, a white diamond or a red diamond, and the drones as well. 
Just make sure they don't get too close to the convoy to where they can take out the vehicles. Because yeah. there's, there's really no health indicator on how low the vehicles are at any Shit. point. Enemy trucks crashing the home street blockade! Keep moving, go! So up ahead to our left, there's two semi-trucks that need to be taken out immediately because those will pose, I guess, the greatest danger to the convoy since they can get rather close right here since they're going to do a turnabout and go back down that street to our left right there. We got enemy gunships! Keep moving! Thruster repair complete. Victory restored. Now that we start chasing the drones, we want to use our sky burst missile as soon as we have a lock on when there's a cluster of them. As you can see right there, I already fired my sky burst missile and got three kills with career record updated. So this challenge is rather simple. Just make sure you have a good cluster of drones and use your sky burst missile. And since we're approaching the end, there's really not too much others to do. Um, you'll get the career record updated for protecting the G20 vehicles at the end of the mission. And you also earn late for prom achievement for completing this mission on any difficulty. Right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps some of you. And stay tuned for the final mission for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Warning. Structural integrity compromised. Damage warning. That was pretty ballsy moves up there, soldier.